Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got to share this warning with you because um, it's it's already the thirtieth. This man was called by God to go and preach. He was actually invited to preach. He says that all at the beginning. But I want you to hear <clears throat> one of the people that he <clears throat> quote unquote. <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> I'm not losing my voice. I'm <clears throat> not losing. I right, just listen. Here comes this mom and this son, and they're walking on the sidewalk, and the mom's on the phone. She <clears throat> says, "Yeah, I'm in the village," and da 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 da. And the son had a shirt that said Fortnite on it, and the Lord just like drew focused me in on that. And I'm like, Fortnite? That's the game. That's the Xbox game the kids play. And uh, he looked about 14, I think. And so I um, I went on, didn't think much about it. Later that night, a friend of mine, good friend of mine, um, he, he lis closely, closely listens to God's voice. He sends me a video called 14 Days. And it's about a tsunami that's coming in 14 days. So I listened to the video. And, uh, and by the way, I'm going to put that in the description box below. And I'm listening to the video. And... I look at the date, and it was seven days ago. So this young man had a, had a vision about a tsunami, and that was coming in 14 days. And, and it was actually seven days ago when he produced the video, when he had this vision. All right, this is dated the 28th of September. That Steve Mac 88 put this up. Now, I don't know if that's him or she, because I found this on... Off-grid desert farming with Paul and Adrian. <clears throat> he shared it. I just clicked the link and went straight to it. All right. And he called this channel a her. She. I don't know. I don't. I've seen this name before. This channel name before. So anyway. Um, he said he put it in the description box below. So maybe it's his channel. Maybe he just. Uh accidentally added an S to he. Okay, so we're talking about we, if you've been following La Palma. I'm just going to cut to the chase. You can listen to the rest of this video because he's talking about coming tsunami, invasion, and famine. If that person's dream or, or whatever he said was right and it comes in 14 days from the time they got it, Okay, it's all, it's five more days. Five. Okay. If you've been watching the La Palma, look here, Steve Denoon or Ben Noon, whatever it is. La Palma tsunami warnings. I, I'm only putting this out because the people on the East Coast and Florida and any that are in the Caribbean, Puerto Rico. Europe, like the UK and Spain, they need to be keeping their eyes on on this. If they're not, I mean, maybe they already are. Maybe everybody already is, and everybody's eyes are open, and they're fully awake and aware that, oh, yeah, La Palma's spewing lava into the ocean now and building new rock on top of the old rock, which is unstable right now. And putting more and more weight on that southern part of that island. Okay. That's already got the ditch created from the crack. And scientists have been saying that's going to break off and go into the ocean. Cause a tsunami. Okay. That's been being talked about for as long as I've been on YouTube. Seems like. At least eight years. Nine years. So, because I remember when Chris from Born From Battle took his family there for vacation. And he was on uh, comments to my videos saying, he, or maybe he emailed me, I don't remember. He said they were on the Canary Islands. I said, what are you doing there when they're expecting the volcano to blow? Well, clearly it wasn't right then. <laughs> It, but it blew now, didn't it? So, what I'm doing is just sharing with you another... See, because we do need to take uh, prophecy into account. 
Scientists will say what they think based on their facts, quote unquote. Um, and, and a lot of it is they have these seismologists and their seismographs and they can register the Richter scale of the earthquakes and all this stuff. You know, they have all this stuff that records activity and volcanic activity and they can tell certain things and kind of guesstimate make an educated guess but they can't pinpoint it but God can God knows exactly when it's going to happen and he can choose who he wants to give dreams visions and words to to warn us so I'm going to end this here and put this link in the description box and then I'll go check out Steve's and if it's if it's um well it was streamed a day ago 44,000 views good people are watching but are they doing anything I pray they're all those who are because see I warned my whole family because two of them live on the east coast well one is it, it works for at Camp Lejeune with NCIS and, and my sister she's in Georgia and I'm not sure exactly where this horse ranch is that she and her husband live on now um, he's a flight he's actually a flight attendant for he's a medic for flights they stay in Greece for a month and then they're in the USA for a month and then they're on for a month and they're off for a month and if he's over in Greece or staying over there somewhere near Greece and one of our VIPs gets sick or hurt or injured, whatever. They need to come from a European hospital to the States, you see. Then he's a medic that takes care of them while they're in flight.